Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can automate Brave Browser in Selenium, or I would say how you can run your automated test cases in Brave Browser. Okay, so recently in one of my YouTube uh, video comment, I got this question that how we can automate using Brave Browser. So let's see how we can do that. So those who are completely new to Brave Browser, so Brave Browser is nothing but a Chromium based browser. So basically it will save a lot of data and it basically blocks a lot of ads and it saves a lot of bandwidth for you. So if you have already used, it's good. You can continue with this video, but if you don't have Brave Browser, then before continue with this video, make sure you install this Brave Browser so that you can practice whatever we are going to discuss now. Now here the challenge part is right now, if you open you know, Selenium site, then you will see right now we don't have any official driver only for you know brave but as i mentioned it's a chromium based browser so now you can continue with the chrome driver itself so let's see how we can use this and how you can continue with brave browser so first of all let's go ahead and create a new class so this is the package uh, you know project that we have created for uh, youtube videos and this is the package i have created just now which is new browser i will create a separate class now called uh, brave browser because you can give any name i'm just giving brave browser and i will continue with public static void main but if you're using junit or test ng feel free to use that because our main intention is to automate now i'm going to use a chrome driver itself for brave browser so i will divide this video into two parts guys basically the first part that if you're using direct drivers like you have you have downloaded the chrome driver for your mac windows or linux in that case, how you can do that. In the second part, I will show you if you're using web driver manager, then how you can do that. Going to be very easy. So in order to continue, make sure you have a Brave browser installed, which I already have. Second thing, I need the Chrome driver. So just come to download section, come to browser section, and you can see Chrome driver is supported by the Chromium project. Please refer to this documentation. And you will be navigated to, to chromedriver.chromium.org. Now they have two releases. One is beta release, one is stable release. And as you can see, Chrome beta 95 available and stable release is 94. Okay, so I will go with stable release. I will click on it. Then it will open a new tab. Then it will ask you which uh, platform you're using. Okay, so they have Linux 64, Mac, Mac 64, M1 and Windows 32. So this one, you can go ahead, even though I have Windows 32 or 64, same driver will be applicable. So I have already downloaded it. Let me unzip this. Yes, this is the driver that we got. Let's unzip. And now I got this Chrome driver.exe. Now it's totally up to you. You can keep this Chrome driver here or at any location, maybe in the project root directory as well. You just need to give the path of this Chrome driver. So I will press shift from the keyboard and I will right click on this and I will get this option called copy as path. But in case if you're not getting this option, no problem. You can click on properties, copy the path and continue. Okay. Now in our program, I'm going to use a class called system class in Java. And I'm going to use one static method called set property. As you can see, now it is asking key and value pair. So the key is fixed guys. Okay, so key would be web driver dot chrome dot driver and make sure everything is in a small, okay? And when it comes to giving the path, you need to give the complete path. So just give this path. Now for Windows, use one forward slash or two backward slash. I will continue with two backward slash here. Fine. Now we have to use a separate class called Chrome options. Okay, so now we have a predefined class in selenium called chrome options as the name says chrome options whenever you have to make any changes or any you know configuration additional options you want to change you will be using this class now as you can see it's giving you error because we need to import this class which is coming from this package which is org.openq.selenium.chrome now once you are done now the moment you type opt which is object here of chrome options class and the moment i put dot operator 
you can see I have list of methods. I'm going to use one of the method called set binary as you can see this. And if you see the description, it will set the path to the Chrome executable. In our case, we have to give the path of the brave.exe file. Okay, because Chrome anyways, we are not using, we are using Brave browser. Now, how do you get this path? See, generally when you install Brave browser, you will find the binary in this standard folders, okay? Which is C drive, program files, Brave browser, sorry, Brave software, then Brave browser and application. So if you want me to do it again, C drive, then program files, then go to Brave software, Brave browser, application and here is the brave.exe file so again i will press uh, shift from the keyboard right click on this and you can see copy as path so i'll go back and i will simply paste the path now again as i mentioned for windows one forward slash or two backward i will continue with two backward slash and that's all you need to do now as we have seen that in order to start uh, a web driver, we will type web driver, driver equal to new and which browser you want to start. So if you're working with Chrome, you will say Chrome driver. If you are automating Firefox, you will say Firefox driver. But right now we don't have any specific class for Brave browser. So we have to continue with Chrome driver. So I will say Chrome and driver. Okay, Chrome driver. And now if you see, we have one of the constructor called Chrome options. Can you see this? Now you can create a Chrome driver instance with a specific options. And this is what we want. So we are going to pass this OPT object that we have created. And I'm going to pass this. So if you don't pass this OPT, it is going to start a Chrome driver, which is Chrome browser. Then if I just pass this option that it is going to start this Brave browser for us. So let's run this. If that runs, then we will continue with the scripting. So let's run this. And you will see it will start a Brave browser. It will simply launch. It will not perform any other activity. OK. As you can see, it started the Brave browser. And how you can verify? Because as you can see, this is place being controlled by automated test software. Fine. So now once your browser is ready now you can pass any url you can type you can click you can continue with whatever activity which you want so as of now let me pass any url which we want to automate in my case i want to just open one website i want and i will get some details from here it is just to show you uh, the output but once you get your browser session it's up to you so I'm going to capture the URL first, then I'm going to capture the title. Okay, and then yeah, if you want, you can say driver.quit. I don't want to do that right now. So again, I will run this program. And yeah, let's wait. Start Chrome driver 94. It will pass google.com and here we go. We got this get current URL, then I got Google. So this is how easy it is. You just need to set the driver path, create object of Chrome options class, set the binary and pass it. Now this is using direct approach, okay, where I will download the drivers and then I will continue. In the second option, or I will say the second way to do this, if you're using a web driver manager. Now, in case we're new to web driver manager, that what is web driver manager, how to use it, then I have a dedicated video on this. I will give you the link in the description. Go ahead and watch. So right now I'm using Maven project and in my Maven project, I have one of the dependency called web driver manager. And at the time of recording, I'm using one version called 4.4.3. So in, in the second example, let me create a copy of this. Now you just need to change this statement. So Earlier we were downloading and we were passing the path. But in this case, now we are going to use a class called Web Driver Manager. Then this has a static method called Chrome Driver. And then I'm going to call a method again called Setup. That's all. Rest everything will remain same. And I will just add driver.quit here. So this particular statement will download the driver, set the path, and rest everything will be same. 
so let's right click run as java application and let's see the output output will remain same it is just we have replaced the first statement with webdriver manager so here we started as you can see it will print the title url and it is closing as well okay that's very easy and uh, nothing much here it is just set binary you have to call which is coming from chrome options and then you can pass to the chrome driver now this is with, without framework guys so in case if you're using framework for invoking your browsers then you can write a small condition that if the browser name is equal to brave then do this and continue with the rest of the test case Okay, that's all for this video guys. It's a very small video, but yeah, very powerful because in upcoming you know, test suite, you might have to add the Brave browser also as a part of uh, the execution. So explore this from your side. And yeah, in case if you need any help, let me know in the comment section. If you find this video interesting and useful, then make sure you share with your friends, colleagues, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.